fight for the record of completions in a ball game, and they still lost. Wow. He threw for, he threw for that many yards, and they still lost because because he played bad. You can throw for that many yards, but when you're throwing them to the other team and all these fumbles and stuff, you played that bad ball game, no matter how many yards you threw for. Yeah. <laughs> but last night, last night, last night he had a couple of tries that he did good. It wasn't his fault at all last night. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Seahawks 27 and the Cardinals 10. Vikings sits and the Bears sits team. So with Kirk Cousins, man? Kirk Cousins is not showing up. Stephon Diggs is... Kirk Cousins, Kirk Cousins can barely hit the box for, for his, his, his uh, baby shower. Gender reveal. Gender reveal, with a football. Yeah. And it was only three feet. It was only three feet away. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about Stephon did uh, being? You know, there's issues about rumors about him being traded. And he won't, man. When stuff goes bad, these guys want out. Yeah. And that's just how it is. Stephon Diggs ain't getting the ball, and he's tired of playing with cousins. Probably, apparently. Yeah. Just like a lot of people, and he just he just wants out. He's tired of it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. You would be, too, after you saw that video of him not being able to hit that box. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know Vikings fans, fans are stressed, and I kind of watched that whole game hanging out with some of the uh, Vikings fans at, at their uh, look. Oh, yeah, that's the reason why you couldn't come hang out with me. I, I see how it is. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Jaguars 26. Oh, no, no, no. I don't, I don't even want to talk about this game since you wouldn't come watch it with me. You don't want to talk about it? Shame I mean, on you. You do me a yeah, favor. I want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, you do me a favor. I want to talk about this game. <laughs> Did you imagine after y'all tried to hurt the man, he still whooped y'all? I mean, he did okay. I mean, Leonard Fournette was the one that kind of beat us up with 237 yards. Dude, 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 dude. <laughs> that play where he did for y'all and threw the touchdown to a running back who hasn't even played at all this year, that right there summed him up perfectly. Leonard Fournette got 200 yards because y'all let him run for each one of them on one run. Hey, right, 200 yards still, that 200 yards, man. man. That, that big ass man got tired of shit on that run, too. Oh, when it rains, it pours. We led the drive down there and got the touchdown. I said we gave him a little bit too much more time. And uh, oh, I lo- the funny part is, when have I able? When have I ever been able to go? Oh, we got this. Whenever we we started losing, I was like, oh, we got this. We'll get in field goal range easy. Mm-hmm. And Nicole goes, what? I said, we'll get in field goal range. I said, left us with a minute fifteen left with two timeout. I said, we got this easy. And then here come Mitchu. Yep, and your boy Lambo came through, and and it was. We got a clutch kicker. What can I say? He had a real good game that game too, especially with all that wind and everything. Yeah. These guys like twenty-two mile an hour wind. That shit didn't even move. It just went straight. Oh man, yeah, it was bears all over again. And then to add uh, insult to injury, literally, Bradley Chubb is out for the season. And yeah, that that sucked because they only thought he was having cramps. Yeah. And I'm being a Because they kept saying during the game, he's got cramps, he's got cramps, and the cramps turned into a torn ACL. It's a tough dude, man, to keep playing through that. But like you said, you don't you don't know what it is. You just keep playing through it. Yeah, he was playing through it. Yeah, he was playing through it. Yeah, so but none less. Maybe he done what, per- maybe he done what Percy Harvin's been doing before every game. <laughs> Hey, somewhere Josh Gordon is kicking himself so he couldn't be so discreet about the how, how uh, Calvin Johnson and, and Percy Harvin has, has been smoking trees and still play football. So. Dude, Calvin said he did it after the game. Percy was like, nah, bro, I, I did that shit before the game. And then I beat the shit out of Golden Tate before a fucking football game, too. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, God damn. <sighs> Man, that's funny. The Cowboys and the Saints. The Saints Percy win had a lot of problems, though. <laughs> <laughs> Cowboys and Saints. Saints win twelve to ten. That game was pretty close. I guess the Cowboys, as many people would joke, they finally played a real team. <laughs> no, they played a team. They played a team with a real defense. Yeah, they played a good team. So you gotta give them credit. And then the Stink Fest on Monday was your Bengals and Steelers. Since I, I listen, I I can't talk crap because my team is zero and four. 
But gee, Jesus, man, the Bengals are bad. <laughs> the Bengals are bad. The Dolphins I mean, are real bad. Yeah, at least at least my my team they've been losing. It's been close. Dude, y'all are y'all are bad. Y'all just play teams that that have that thing on their side. Yeah. That, that, that's what that's what the bad part about y'all y'all got the guys that they just got luck on their side right now. They got that little role, especially the Bears. Yeah, man. I'm just Trubisky, I think Trubisky's out this week. Yep, that's what I heard. So. For the Bears, and he is, but they they still got that that crazy ass defense, and they they look into a few plays on offense, and bam, they're there. Gotcha. We just had entirely two different halves of football. <laughs> we go from being sucky in the first half to all of a sudden the second half, y'all can't do anything again. No, I'm saying it's because. We can't it's because we get out of that stupid zone defense that that idiot tries to run, and we go into man, and people don't know what to do. I said, when we play man, we're a thousand times better than we play zone. I said, I don't care if Jalen's playing or not. Just play man. <coughs> you see what happens. As soon as they switch back to man, they got a goddamn interception. <laughs> yeah. Uh. I said, look at that shit. They're playing man, and they got a pick. <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> Uh, all right, let's go. But me, too, but me too, man. That that kid, there's something about him, and it's not the craziness of the Uncle Rico stuff. And that, I could care less about that. He's smart, and he he plays beyond his years. And they even mentioned something during the telecast where they like, well, he comes out of that run and shoot, fun and gun, whatever you want to call it, system. Uh huh. To where they throw back shoulder throws and fake, which are the two main things really you need in the NFL to succeed. And he throws them beautifully. And the throws that people were scouts were saying he can't make, he's made every single one of them in the NFL. It's just crazy how how he looked like totally bad in the preseason. Mind you, he was playing with twos. To now playing with the ones, he looks he looks phenomenal. I'm like, can we please just look into a quarterback one time? <laughs> well, hey, I know y'all gonna keep it rolling, man. So uh, he yeah. reminds me. He, re- he reminds me of. He reminds me a little bit of Brunel with the way he can move around, but he's not necessarily a dual threat quarterback. Right. He's a. He's a. I can move in the pocket and make a play quarterback. Because it's not like whenever he goes to scramble that he's looking to run. Every time he's went to scramble, he's still looking downfield to throw the ball. Right. And it, 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 just, it just amazes me at, at how well and how he's playing above being a guy only in his fourth game. <laughs> yeah, y'all got y'all one, man. He looks good, I think man. I think he's a good little ball player. I, I like him. I'm not buying into the whole hype yet. Because there will be that game where somebody figures him out. Yeah. But I, I, I enjoy I enjoy watching him play. Hell, Nicole even likes watching him play so much she wants a t shirt. <laughs> you can't go anywhere around Jacksonville without seeing one for freaking sale. <laughs> hey, you gotta buy one, man. <laughs> Did you see what they were doing? Did you see what they were doing for the uh, tickets to the New Orleans Saints game? What are you doing? Buy tickets to the New Orleans Saints game. They're giving you a headband and a mustache. <laughs> With a, and you can come and take a picture down near the field wearing your headband and your mustache. <laughs> I'm like, really? Uh, oh, my God. That is funny, man. Minshew Mania, man. It's in full effect. <laughs> and I said, and I said, I really think Nick Foles is getting his job back. When he gets healthy and they're doing all this stuff, I don't think so. It's going to be real hard, man. <laughs> I, right. I, 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 wouldn't, I wouldn't put him in. <laughs> I, I would ride the hell out of the high end. That's just me. There it is. All right, on to the next week. Let's make these picks. We already done saw the Rams and the Seahawks. The Rams end up losing to the Seahawks by one point. What else? Oh, yeah, hold on. Before we go even further, Russell Wilson is good. Russell Wilson is really, really good. And why he doesn't get talked about in those upper echelon quarterbacks is beyond me. That throw he made to lock it with that catch on the, in, the, in the end zone, right on the side of the end zone, he got 
beautifully placed ball. It was an art it's form, wasn't it? <laughs> that, was, that was the thing of art. I was like, wow, that, he put down the money. He had four touchdowns this game, too. So I was. Uh, yeah, Russ, Russell's good, man. I, I, I love Russell. <laughs> Still pissed off we drafted a punter instead of Russell. <laughs> All right, Sunday game starting at 1 o'clock. Your first game is the Jaguars at the Panthers. Go Jags. I got a Jazz pulling it out. The Patriots is playing the Redskins. Uh, Patriots. It's bounce back week for Tom Brady. (laughs) He's still pissed for only throwing for freaking 100 yards. I'm still pissed for him only throwing for freaking 100 yards. So the reason I'm laughing is I... I played Madden earlier, and I just kind of simulated the game because we played my Bronco for the Chargers. And at the bottom, it had the the Redskins being the Patriots by ten. Oh, go don't away, that, Madden! Don't don't know that's some kind of epiphany, but I will not. I will, I, I will laugh. I will laugh if the Redskins pull it out. I don't think it'll happen though. The pass will win in a blowout fashion. Well, uh, Redskins are starting Cole McCoy. Yeah. So. Ah, right, so they're not going with Haskins. No, they're starting Cole McCoy. Okay. All right. The Bills are playing the Tennessee Titans. Go Bills. Go Bills. I got the Titans to win this one. Damn it. Go Bills. <laughs> the Ravens at the Steelers. Um, I'm going to roll with the Ravens. It's time they, had, they need to have a bounce back week after that. Uh, yeah, that was stunning to see how they lost like that against the Browns. And I think they bounced back as well. Take it down to Steelers. Steelers are... The Browns are, the Browns are the most Jekyll and Hyde team in the NFL this year. And they're going to be throughout the year. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and buy the hype, but still, they beat the crap out of a sorry team in the Bengals. So I'm just going to be like, they're going yeah. to come back down to earth here against the Ravens. So Next 1 o'clock game is the Cardinals at the Bengals. Wow, this is terrible. Game. Oh my god! Oh, oh my god! Cards, cards get their win. Yes, this is atrocious game, and Cardinals will get this win. The Falcons at the Texans. Okay, I'm picking the Texans. You picking the Texans? Yeah, I, I can't trust. Yeah, the Falcons are just. The Falcons are just bad. Yeah, <laughs> Texans at home too. Yeah, I'm going to Texans. <laughs> The yeah, the Falcons got a, a bad dick cooter on their team. <laughs> uh, get you a little reminder. The Buccaneers is at the Saints. Who you got? Well, I'm, I'm gonna take the Bucks. You know what? I'm with you, man. I think Bruce Aaron's got this team rolling, and it's gonna be if, if, it was, if they had Drew Brees, I, I'd be thinking differently. But I got the Bucks. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, if, if Breeze was still, if Breeze was healthy and playing for the Saints, I'm taking the Saints in almost every game this year. Uh, but with, with them, with Teddy Bridgewater still being the quarterback and everything, and Arians got them playing a little confident, let's not give anything away from their offensive coordinator, Byron Leftwich, has yeah. been calling some good games. And I think Byron has got in the, Byron's got Jameis' head a little bit on, hey, dude, you need to start playing some ball and be smarter with it. Agreed. Because Agreed. Byron, By- Byron and James almost remind me of each other. Yeah. Especially playing wise. That ugly ass throwing motion. <laughs> and all that. All that stuff. Believe me, I saw it first hand. <laughs> nice. All right. The Vikings at the Giants. This, this could be a interesting Oh my game. God. God. I'm going with the Giants. You going with the Giants? Yeah. Uh, I'm going with the Vikings, man. I think the Vikings will pull it out. No, nah, he can't even throw it three yards and hit a box, man. It's a box. Well, I, what I'm banking on is Davin Cook's going to have a big game. He's the defense going to have him down. So. Yeah, you better hope. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. All right. You gotta, they got a lot of 1 o'clock games here. The other 1 o'clock game is the Bears is on the road against the Raiders. Uh, Bears. Even without, even without Trubisky, that the defense carried them. Yeah, the defense is monster. Ooh, and Khalil Mack could go back to the Raiders. He could go back home there where he got drafted. Yep. Ooh, yep. Revenge game? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's going to be chomping at the bit to go. Oh, man. <laughs> Raider fans are not booing too. Y'all traded him. <laughs> but uh, let's see. Your last 1 o'clock game is the Jets at the Eagles. How many fucking Eagles do 
fucking one o'clock any further. Shit.